here's something to ponder. We look at ISIS beheading, uh, you know, a, a, I guess they're up to maybe a dozen high-profile people now, and burning this Jordanian pilot to death while he's still alive. And we say, correctly, this is hideous and barbaric. And these are our friends and some of our people, some American citizens, who are being slaughtered by these ISIS guys. Most of ISIS, most of its command structure, are former Iraqi officers or former Iraqi uh, warlords, you know, Sunnis, basically, who are, were sick and tired of our having supported a Shiite government in Iraq that was suppressing the Sunnis. And in the process of doing that, in the process of our bombing Iraq and drone strikes and everything else, a lot of these people have had members of their families killed, bombed, incinerated, blown to smithereens, shot up by American forces, American planes, American bombs. They have seen a mind-boggling amount of brutality. We have killed hundreds of thousands of people in that region. So from their point of view, we are the brutal ones. And I'm I'm telling you, this is a great example of what it says in... uh, Which book of the Bible is it, uh, you know where this stuff is laid out it's it's uh, in the old testament it's not song of songs anyhow it's it's uh, maybe it's psalms but you know it's it, of sow the wind reap the whirlwind the whirlwind we are reaping the whirlwind of our own actions in that part of the world and it's time for us to back away i mean we we have to we have to dial back the military and amp up the the marshall plan reconstruction Keep in mind, Afghanistan is a country with a $2 billion a year GDP if you take out all the military stuff. And there functionally was no military stuff before we got there. So for a fraction of what we're spending fighting these people, we could be rebuilding their country and bringing them in the modern age. But no, that doesn't produce money for our military contractors, for the defense contractors who own so many politicians in this town and who live in the 30-bedroom mansions that's, that ring Washington, D.C.